Hey Flamingos, today I'm going to give you my review of the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. So the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium is located in City Walk between the entrance gates of Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. This restaurant is super cool. You can go in uh, without a reservation just to shop in the gift shop and in the section where they have like all their treats that are house made. They have like macarons and um, all kinds of candies and fudge, um, all kinds of really good looking treats. Something else that you can easily access is the gift shop area and the merch in there is super, super cool. Like I could not get over how much really cool merch was in this shop. Hey Flamingos, don't forget to subscribe and comment on any of my videos to enter in a chance to win the prize pack. So during our visit there, we bought two of the specialty milkshakes that everybody talks about. Um, I got the Key Lime Pie and we also got the Espresso Buzz. For the Key Lime Milkshake, it had sour cream, ice cream, sweetened condensed milk, lime sugar, lime garnish, and lime juice. It also had a slice of key lime pie on top and whipped cream. Overall, I would say that this dessert was fine. It was $14.50, which is the cheapest of the milkshakes that you can get. The prices for all the milkshakes range between $14.50 to $16 at the time of this recording. So with the key lime milkshake, um, I love key lime and I love key lime pie. I like all kinds of variations of that type of dessert, which is why I got this milkshake. I would have to say that as far as a milkshake goes, they're not what I traditionally think of when I think of a milkshake. The consistency is thicker and um, smoother, I guess. Um, it's probably because of the, the way that they mix the ice cream with the um, condensed milk. Um, it's not bad, it's just different. And I can't say that I would order that again. Not what I would wanna spend almost $15 on for a dessert. And the piece of the key lime pie that came on top was so small, like, that's part of these like over the top kind of milkshake things, right? Is that it's like two desserts in one, which helps justify the price. Well, the piece of, of uh, cake that was on top was like little bitty like this, and it was super thin. It was just like a tiny little wedge stuck on top. And uh, yeah, I it was good, but I just was under impressed for the amount that you pay. I think if you want a milkshake, there are better places to get a milkshake. They are cute and you do get these uh, super cute cups here. You can kind of see the uh, print there. Um, these are plastic, just so you know, not glass, just plastic. They do not come with a lid. I have not yet found a lid to go on top of this thing. Um, and you have to hand wash it. So it's not dishwasher safe either. So you're not getting like a really good value in my opinion for what you're spending. So for the espresso buzz, it was coffee, ice cream, espresso, espresso, chocolate covered beans, whipped cream, and a maraschino cherry, which they left off of ours. Um, this dessert we had uh, pretty high hopes for. We love coffee, all things coffee in every shape and form. Um, this was also that strange consistency. I'm not sure, because this one didn't even have the condensed milk in it. So I'm not sure like what it is, but it's it's just not what I expect when I, when I think of milkshake. Um, again, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great either. Like, and this one was a $16 one. And so, and this one doesn't even get like the second dessert on top because they put the chocolate espresso beans in it. And so how they did that is it was just like a bunch of cream, like 
chocolate or espresso chocolate flavored whipped cream on top and then they put some of the um, espresso beans on that and that cream that whipped cream that they use is very dense um, it's good but when they give you that much of it it's a bit much again I don't think I would order any of these milkshakes ever again, and I wouldn't even recommend them to my family or friends if they come into town to visit me. That's how underwhelming um, I think they are, and I see so many people that just talk them up, and I don't quite get the hype. Uh, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe we tried the wrong flavors. If you've had a better experience, uh, drop me a comment down below and let me know if there's a certain one that I should have tried and maybe I'll give them a second chance. So Toothsome does have a full restaurant. I have not eaten there. Um, I've seen where plenty of people have. I may give them a try. It does look enticing. Um, I've heard that the quality is like roughly similar to other mid-range restaurants. So like Applebee's or Charlie's, that kind of quality but the pricing is a little more than what you would pay at those places. So at some point I will have to try the restaurant and I will let you know how that is. Uh, it's super hard to get reservations for there. So if you're interested on your next trip, try to get those reservations as early as possible. Well, that'll do it until next time. Shake it tough, Heather.